immortal God, invincible Lord, immortal God, how great thou art, immortal God, invincible Lord, immortal God, how great thou art. Our Heavenly Father, we give all the glory. Lord, we give you the honor. Lord, we give you the adoration because you are ever faithful. Daddy, we thank you for the privilege to be here. Daddy, we thank you for this program that you have brought so that you will be able to liberate us and promote us in all areas of our life. My Lord and my God, I accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. Everlasting Father, we know without you we can do nothing, but with you we can do all things. In all we will do today, Lord, take absolute control. Take preeminence, guide us, lead us, that all we will do will be profiting in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Uh, we thank God for this privilege, and I appreciate the authority that have given us the privilege to be here to take this prayer today. I pray that God will continue to bless every one of us and continue to bless and multiply and redeem in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, as we continue, I want us to just praise God for a while. And then we have, we'll continue. Oh Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful, and I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful for all you have done for me. Oh, Lord, I am very, very grateful, and I say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In all generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, the owner of my soul. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. In all generation, there is no one like you. Alpha Omega, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord Almighty. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Lily of Valley. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. El Shaddai. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. You are worthy to be praised, O Lord. Fabi gbe Jesu ga o bala o bato ga. Igbe baba ga o lu bala o bato. Eba mi gbe Jesu ga. Eba mi gbe baba ga. Ye o ba wale ku wogbo. O ba wale arun wole. Ay sa uku akbara reda. A oba mi mo e che o di bara oba toga. Tiro, tiro, tiro gene me. Tiro, tiro, tiro gene me. Tiro, tiro, tiro gene me. Tiro, tiro, tiro gene. Tiwe jiro, tiwe jiro. O iro gene, o gene ruke we na si weji. Si weji ro, si weji ro. O iro gene, o gene ruke we na si weji ro. 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 O gene ruke we na si we si weji ro si weji ro. Iro gene, o gene ruke we na si weji ro. O Almighty God, alo bi dai ni. O Almighty God, alo bi dai ni. 
Oh, Almighty God, hallowed be thy name. Almighty God, hallowed be thy name. Can we just go ahead and begin to thank God? Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him the honor. Let's give him the adoration. We have a faithful God, immortal, invisible, the ancient of this, the Lord that was, the Lord that is, the Lord that is to come. Apa nla to so le aye ro ogbigba tin gba elese ogbigba tin gba lai lara gba ni gba ni lojo ogun le ikan la na ikan le ni ikan titi aye raye daddy you are faithful daddy you are faithful daddy you are faithful thank you lord thank you father in jesus wonderful name we praise amen today we are looking at test trial and temptation test trial and temptation Trial and tribulation are all part of what we experience as children of God. Every believer has our own share of trial and tribulation. But we must be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We must never stop praying as prayer is the only sure way to escape the trial of life. When we pray, we generate spiritual energy to overcome trial and temptation. Through this prayer point, we are going to be engaging spiritual warfare as we battle our way out of trial that plague our life. Prayer one. Let's go ahead to thank God for, his, for the life he has given unto us. Because only the living can face trial and tribulation. Psalm 105, verse 6, say, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go ahead and say, Father, we thank you for giving us life. It's because we have life that we are facing trial and tribulation. Somebody said, Pastor, I've been facing so many things. And the answer is very simple. It's because he succeeded the last trial. That is why he has the opportunity to face another one. Those that went with the trial, they never face any other one. So let's thank God for giving us life. Daddy, we give all the glory, Lord. We give you the honor, Lord. We give you the adoration for sparing our life to be alive, for helping us to overcome the past trials and temptation in our life. Oh, Daddy, we thank you because we have the assurance that you will continue to be our sheet. You continue to be our strength. You continue to help us to overcome trial and temptation that come our ways. Oh, Daddy, we thank you for the gift of life. Daddy, we thank you for the gift of life. Daddy, we thank you for the gift of life. Daddy, we thank you for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we thanks. Amen. Prayer 2. We take, take our text from Isaiah 40, 22. It is said that seated upon the circles of the earth, and the habitant thereof as grasshopper, that stretched out heaven as a curtain, and spread them out as a tent to dwell in. God is bigger than whatever problem we are facing. He's bigger than whatever challenge we are facing. Because he seated upon the circles of the earth, and human beings look like grasshopper unto him. So we are going to thank God and say, Father, we thank you because you are greater than our challenge and problems. You are greater than our challenges and trial. Oh, Daddy, we thank you because you are greater than our challenges. Daddy, we thank you because you are bigger than our trials. Daddy, we thank you because you are bigger than our challenges. Daddy, we give all the glory. Daddy, we give all the glory. You created all things. And my Lord and my God, there was nothing you have created that is greater than you. Nothing you have created that you don't have control over. Oh, Daddy, we thank you because you are bigger than our challenges. Daddy, we thank you because you are bigger than our challenges. Thank you, Lord, we thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we thanks. Prayer number three. We are going to thank God because everything is created by him. And he has created everything that he has control over. We take our text from the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominion or principalities or power, all things, all things were created by him and for him. So we are going to pray and say, Father, we thank you because everything is created by you. And you have not created anything you cannot control. 
I know you are capable of my present situation. Oh, Daddy, I thank you because I know you created all things. And you have not created anything you cannot control. This gives us the confidence that you are capable of handling the situation we are passing through. Oh, Father, we thank you. 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 Thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we thanks. Amen. Prayer 4. We are going to ask for mercy of God for all our unfaithfulness. We pick our text from the book of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 8. Matthew 7, 8 says, For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be open." This gives us the confidence that whatsoever we ask from God will be given unto us. Because the word of God says God exalts his word more than his name. So we are going to ask for forgiveness for all our unfaithfulness. And we are going to pray and say, Father, have mercy and forgive me of all my unfaithfulness in Jesus' name. Father, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me. Lord, have mercy upon me and forgive me of all my unfaithfulness. In every area that I fail to be faithful, in every area that I have disappointed you, in every area that I have acted below expectation, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer number five. We are still going to ask for mercy from God for every self-imposed trial that we find ourselves in. We pick our text from Psalm 136, verse 1. Psalm 136, verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. We are going to pray now and say, Father, Lord, have mercy and deliver me from every self-imposed trial in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy upon me. 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 Your word say you do, you do not tempt any man. But we enter into temptation as a result of our lust. Lord, every trial that I have imposed upon myself, every trial that we have imposed upon ourselves, my Father and my Lord, that we ask, have mercy upon us. Have mercy and deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy and deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. From every trial, from every temptation, from every problem that we have created for ourselves, Lord, have mercy and deliver us. 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 Your word say, can the lawful captive be delivered? But your answer is yes, Lord. That even the lawful captive are delivered, and the captive of the mighty shall be delivered. My Lord and my God, from every serving post trial, Lord, have mercy and deliver us. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, have mercy and deliver us. In the mighty name of Jesus. When we fail to listen to your instruction, when we fail to, to follow your prompting, my Father and my Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Prayer 6. Father, your word says, I can do all things through Christ, your son, that strengthens me. Lord, help me to live above sin. In Jesus' name. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Then our prayer will be, Father, help me to live above sin in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, Daddy, help me to live above sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me to live above sin in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, help me to live righteous life, pure righteous life in the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to live the life that pleases you at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't let me ever make you angry, Lord. Lord, don't let me ever make you angry. Lord, help me to live above sin at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lord, help me to live above sin. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer 7. Lord, by your Holy Spirit, help me out of every thought and heart desire that is making me to sin against you. We pick our text from the book of Matthew chapter 12, verse 33. Matthew 12, 33. Either make a tree good and its fruit good, or make a tree corrupt and its fruit corrupt. For the tree is known by its fruit. When we allow Holy Spirit to dwell in us, and we follow the prompting and the leading of the Holy Spirit, as it's written in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the source of God. Then we will have a pure desire, and our thoughts will be pure before God. So we are going to pray now. And say, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, help our pure and help our thought and heart desire to be pure before you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help our thoughts to be pure. Lord, help our desire to be pure, pure, that we will not commit sin against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help our thoughts to be pure continually. Lord, help our thoughts to be pure continually. Lord, help our desire to be pure continually, that we will not sin against you. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help our thoughts to be pure. Lord, help our thoughts to be pure. Help our desire to be pure, that we will not sin against you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer 8. Lord, guide me by your Holy Spirit and help me to guide my heart against all temptation. In Jesus' name. We'll pick a text from the book of Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep their heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issue of life. Keep their heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issue of life. Everything proceeds from our heart. If we are able to keep our heart pure, our thought will be pure. And because all action proceed from the heart, then our action will be pure. And then we will not commit sin against God. So we are going to pray to God who is able to do all things. The Father, guide us by your Holy Spirit and help to keep our heart Against all temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, by your spirit, help us and guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, guide our heart against every temptation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, guide our heart against every temptation. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Going to pray at nine. We are going to pray that God will straighten our spirit above our flesh. In Jesus' name. We pick our text from the book of Matthew 24, 41. I mean, Matthew 26, excuse me, Matthew 26, verse 41. And I read, Wash and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. The word of God also makes us to understand in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 1. He said, now there is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. 
when we dwell in the spirit, when we walk in the spirit, then we, it will be easy for us to overcome the temptation because the flesh leads us into temptation through the lust of the eyes, the lust of the eye, and the lust of the flesh. So we are going to pray now and say, Father, please straighten my spirit above my flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, straighten my spirit above my flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, straighten my spirit above my flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, straighten my spirit above my flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. One of the ways through which we can straighten our spirit above our flesh is by reading and meditating on the word of God. The word of God says in the book of Joshua chapter 1, I mean Joshua chapter 1 verse 8, he said this book of law should not depart from our mouth, that we will be able to read and meditate on it on daily basis. I'm paraphrasing now. So we are going to ask now, say, Father, the law for your word, Lord, plant it in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, implant the law for your word in us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, implant the law for your word in our heart in the mighty name of Jesus. So that our spirit will always be above our flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. The grace to put our flesh under. Like Apostle Paul said, he said, I put my flesh under. Lord, give us the grace to put our flesh under in the mighty name of Jesus. Continually, Lord, give us the grace to put our flesh under. That our spirit will continually be above our flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let our spirit continually be above our flesh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Prayer number 10. We want to pray that God will stood, I mean, we stand by us as he stood by Job when Job was passing through his trial. As we can see in that account in the book of Job, starting from Job chapter 1, God did not allow Satan to have power at the beginning over his flesh. And later when Satan came again, and said he needed to touch the flesh, God said the soul should not be touched by Satan. God stood by Job, and therefore Job was able to overcome the temptation and the trial. So we are going to pray now and say, Lord Jesus, just as you stood by Job against the accuser, Father, stay and fight for me in the day of my trial in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as you stood by Job, and Job was able to overcome and came out of the trial victoriously, Lord, stand by me and help me to fight on the day of my trial in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. Lord, strengthen me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen me. In the mighty name of Jesus. As it is written, that when I pass through water, you will be there with me. The water will not overflow me. My Lord and my God, as I pass through trial and temptation in life, my Father and my Lord stand by me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, stand by me. Lord, stand by me. Lord, stand by me. Lord, stand by me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to fight to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus. Help me to be victorious. In all area. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you say when I pass through fire, you will be there with me. His flame will not kindle against my, my skin. My Lord and my God, whatsoever I'm going through in life, Lord, stand by me. Lord, stand by me. Lord, stand by me. Lord, strengthen me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, strengthen me in the mighty name of Jesus. That we continually be an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. That we continually be an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. Trial in the office. Trial at home. Trial in my business. Even trial among the brethren. My Lord and my God, stand by me. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. There are many people, they face trial in their office. 
simply because they stand by the side of God. Maybe other people in your office, they are corrupt, and you decided not to join them. And as a result of that, they are creating a problem for you. Then let's go ahead and pray again. And say, Father, see me through. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, see me through. Lord, see me through. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, see me through. In the mighty name of Jesus, that all my accusers, my Lord and my God, they will not rejoice over me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in all trial, in all temptation that will come my way, Lord, see me through. Let me be victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, let me be victorious. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen. I'm taking prayer 11. This time around, we are going to pray that every evil program of the enemy will not succeed in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pick our text from Psalm 7, verse 15. Psalm 7, verse 15. And I read, He made a pit and dig it and digged it. And is falling into the dish which he made. Proverbs 26, 27. He says, Whosoever diggeth a pit shall fall into it. And whosoever roll a stone shall be crushed by it. Then we are going to pray now and say, Father, every arrow of affliction, fire towards me, towards my family, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of affliction that the enemy has fired at me, that the enemy has fired at my family, that the enemy has fired at the church of God, Lord, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, because it is written that whosoever dig a pit shall fall into it. Every arrow of affliction, every arrow of failure, every arrow of backwardness that the enemy has fired at me, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, every arrow of untimely death, every arrow of loss, loss of good things, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to go back to the sender. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for someone there. Every power that is firing evil arrow at you, it will go back unto them. In the mighty name of Jesus, the gallows that Mordecai, that Amma prepared for Mordecai, it was the one that was hung on it. Every evil program of the enemy against you, they are the one that will perish in it. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. In Jesus. Mighty name, we pray. Amen. Prayer number 12. We are going to pray that every garment of reproach in my life should catch fire and be consumed. I pick the text from Sephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. Sephaniah 3, 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. He said, at that time, and now is the time, I pray for someone that as we pray this prayer, even before the end of this day, the Lord will undo all that afflict thee in the mighty name of Jesus. So we are going to pray now and say, every garment of reproach in my life, I command it to catch fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every garment of reproach in my life, I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command it to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every garment of reproach in my life, I command it to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command it to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, thank you, Father. Reproach can take different form. One, maybe you are a graduate 
and you have been looking for a job for long, and you've not been able to get a job. Though you are graduate, you couldn't feed yourself. Your parents are still feeding you. You are still staying with your parents. I pray for you now. In that name that is above every other name, the Lord will surprise you. Because he said, at this time, he will undo all the afflict thee. And we are going to pray and say, Father, according to your word, everything afflicting me, everything warranting the garment of reproach upon my life, my Lord and my God, Lord, undo it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, undo all that afflict me in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything causing reproach in my life, Lord, undo it. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove it from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Are you a single lady or a single man? You have marriageable age, but you don't have a partner. And as a result of that, some people are mocking you. They are mocking shall be terminated in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he said, we undo all the afflict due. And the Lord has promised, yeah, we do a new thing. We are going to pray. As we pray this prayer again, the Lord will do a new thing in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that kept you in the same position. Because the world say, I will save her that, that, that have been halted. I will save her that have been halted. Everything that kept you in the same position that is bringing reproach into your life, according to the word of God, the Lord will deliver you from it. So we are going to pray and say, Father, save me from everything, keep me in the same position. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, according to your word, in the book of Stephanie, chapter 3, verse 19, Lord, save me from everything, keeping me in the same position. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, save me from everything, keeping me in the same position. That is bringing reproach into my life. Lord, save me from it. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Reproach can come as a result of failure. Oh, maybe possibly those people that were your junior in the university, they have passed ICANN. But you are still there, struggling to pass. Not that you are not preparing, but you can't just explain where the problem is coming from. The Lord will deliver you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In every area that the enemy has tied you down in a particular position, the Lord the one that have the power to deliver you, the one that have power over all principality and power, he will deliver you today. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we pray this prayer again, I say, Father, help me and take away this reproach for my life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, help me and take away this reproach. This garment of reproach, Lord, take it away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take this garment of reproach away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take this garment of reproach away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take this garment of reproach away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, take this garment of reproach away from my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I don't know any other thing that you are facing that is bringing reproach. But God has promised in this same Sephaniah 3.19. He said, I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. We are going to pray and say, Father, turn my reproach to praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, turn all my reproaches to praises. In the mighty name of Jesus. According to your word, Lord, make me a name and a praise in all the places where I have been reproached. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, make my name a, make me a, a name and a praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. I remember the prophecy for this year. Said, what was your greatest challenge last year? We become your greatest testimony. As we pray this prayer again, every garment of reproach that Lord will remove from you in the mighty name of Jesus, it will crown your effort with victory in the mighty name of Jesus. You will become a light indeed in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will make you a praise in the mighty name of Jesus. So shall it be. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray. Amen. Prayer 13. 
everything cooperating with affliction in my life be consumed by the fire of Holy Ghost. Take our text from book of Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. The Lord shall cause thy enemy that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face. They shall come against thee in one way and flee before thee in seven ways. The enemy can be two forms. It can be internal, it can be external. And we are quickly going to take them one after the other. Everything cooperating with affliction in my life that God will consume it. One, starting from the internal, wrong belief can bring doubt or empower doubt and unbelief. And if you are the type that you find it difficult to believe the word of God, then you may stay longer in a particular problem. So we are going to pray now and say, Father, every root of unbelief in me Lord, uproot it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because it is written that every plant that my heavenly father has not planted shall be uprooted. Lord, every seed of unbelief, my Lord and my God, let it be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus. Every unbelief, every doubt in me that is cooperating with affliction in my life, my Lord and my God, let it be consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Some people find it difficult to fast. This could be another enemy that can reinforce or cooperate with affliction in the life of a man. Because Jesus Christ said there are some problems that will not go except by fasting and prayer. And if your own problem is that you find it difficult to fast, oh, maybe doctor have told you that you have ulcer, and any other thing like that, then you may not be able to fast for long, but at least you may still be able to fast a little. Then we are going to pray. I say every internal enemy that is cooperating with affliction in my life, I come and be consumed by fire now in the mighty name of Jesus. I come and be consumed by the fire of Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I come and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I come and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I come and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. I come and be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, quickly about the external. One, we have the waster. Each time I saw a vehicle that had an accident, and the way I scatter on the road, I will know that the waster has operated in that place. Many people, what they built for years, the waster come in form of fire hazard and destroy everything within some hours. We are going to pray now. I say, Father, every, extra, every power of waster that have been programmed against me and against my fortune, Lord, I command it, let it be consumed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I command every power and activity of waste against my life to be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Another one is manipulation. Manipulation. I knew a guy. We were together when I was in secondary school. When we read for some times, and we decided to go and have a little rest, this guy will continue to read. But at the end of the day, when we get to the exam hall, this guy will forget all what he read. And as a result of that, he hardly passed. That is manipulation, negative influence. And the word of God says we should not suffer wish to live. We know that witchcraft, they are the one that is behind demonic manipulation. So we are going to pray now and say, Father, every form of demonic manipulation against my sources, 
Lord, let your fire consume now in the mighty name of Jesus. Every form of demonic manipulation against my sources. Lord, let your fire consume. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In some cases, the enemy put evil mark on someone. And wherever he gets to, it will be rejected. And we know every man need help. Every man need help. But when this mark prevents a man from receiving help, then he will not be successful. But thank God that there is nothing that God cannot do. We are going to pray now, even as he has promised this Deuteronomy 28 verse 7. He said, every enemy that rises against us shall be smitten before us. We are going to pray and say, Father, every evil mark or every evil order, whatsoever it is, that make you and me to be rejected, where we should be helped. Lord, let your fire consume it now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, every evil mark upon my life, every evil mark upon my destiny, Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Or you may be a pastor or a minister. You have done so much, but the church refused to grow. Simply because maybe the church is covered with a demonic blanket or their demonic power that stare at people and shakes them away with their staring. We are going to pray now. That Father, every power wasting my effort over the church, my Lord and my God, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume every power wasting my effort over the church, over the parish you have given unto me, over the area that I preside over, over the soul, over the province, over the region, my Lord and my God, even over the continent, every power wasting my effort. My Lord and my God, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let your fire consume in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your word, Lord, every power standing against the fulfillment of my destiny, Lord, let your fire consume. Lord, let your fire consume. Lord, let your fire consume. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Prayer 14. Lord, arise in your power and let all the people behind the problem of my life be put to shame. In Jesus' name. We take our text from Psalm 34. I mean, excuse me, Psalm 35, verse 4. Psalm 35, verse 4. Let them be confounded and put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion that devise my heart. So we are going to pray and say, Father, every power behind the problems in my life, my Lord and my God, let them be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power behind my trial, every power behind the problems in my life, Lord, let them be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. According to your word, let them be confounded in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let them be confounded Lord, let them be put to shame. All that seek after my destiny, all that seek after my soul, Lord, let them be put to shame. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Prayer number 15. Every problem and affliction that have mastered my prayer method and have developed immunity against my prayer be consumed by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are going to pray and say, Father, every problem that has stayed long with me and is becoming an identity, my Lord and my God, let it be destroyed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be destroyed by your fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, let it be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Before we run up, we quickly pray for our Father in the Lord. And I will take the text from Isaiah 65, verse 21. Isaiah 65, verse 21. He said, and they shall build houses and inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit thereof. We are going to pray for our dad, father in the Lord, daddy, the boy, that all his effort will be success. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit your son, our father in the Lord, into your hand. My Lord and my God, he will not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will not build for another to inhabit. In the mighty name of Jesus, according to your word, Lord, it will build and it will inhabit. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will not plant for another to eat. In the mighty name of Jesus, it will plant and it will eat the fruit thereof. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, it will plant and it will eat the fruit thereof. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Again, Isaiah 65 verse 20. He said, there shall be no more dance an infant of death, nor an old man that has not filled his days. For the, for the child shall die a hundred years old, but the sinner be a hundred years old shall be accursed. Jesus Christ said, all that God has given unto him, that he lose no one. We are going to pray for our Father in the Lord. All the children, both biological and spiritual, that God has given unto him, will not lose anyone. In the mighty name of Jesus, there shall not be infant of this. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, all the children that you have given to our Father and the Lord, he will not lose anyone. He will not lose anyone. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will grow old, we will fulfill our days. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our Father in the Lord will fulfill his days in the mighty name of Jesus. It shall be well with him. It shall be well with the work of his hand in the mighty name of Jesus. The same thing goes to our mother in the Lord. All our provincial pastors, it shall be well with them in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And finally, Psalm 65 verse 23. He said, we will not labor in vain. Then you are going to pray for yourself again. And say, Father, according to your word, I will not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I will not labor in vain. In the mighty name of Jesus. I will not bring forth for trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I will not bring forth for trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because I am a seed of the blessed of the Lord. And my offspring with me. My children will not labor in vain. They will not bring forth for trouble. In the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we give all the glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our Heavenly Father, we give all the glory. Lord, we give you the honor. Lord, we give you the adoration. For this privilege to come unto you. Because you are still in the business of answering prayer. My Lord and my God, our separate times in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, as we have said to your hearing, so do unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. Unto you that is able to do more exceedingly abundantly. Beyond what we ask or we think of. Lord, surpass our expectation in the mighty name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, surprise us this year. Lord, surprise us this year. Let our greatest trouble last year become our greatest testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Give you all the glory. Give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. I prophesy to the life of everyone that have joined me in this prayer, your testimony will not be delayed. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.